you are listening to socialtv.co.za with myself, Noctula Quilla. In our top stories, ShopRite Group enables unemployed men to start up own appliance repair businesses, and Ford South Africa helps learners embark on technical careers through word skills. Starting off with our top story, the ShopRite Group, in partnership with Taking Care of Business, have enabled two unemployed men from Cape Town to establish their own appliance repair businesses. Andre Zaiman, 45, from Delft, and Mulelani Magakuli, 38, from Kailisha, joined Taking Care of Business Repair Program, previously known as the Appliance Bank, after falling on hard times. Zaiman was retrenched in 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic and Makakuni, who moved from the Eastern Cape in pursuit of a better life, struggled to find a steady job. The repair program trains unemployed men to repair broken, damaged or faulty small appliances, which they can then sell for profit. The men also receive extensive financial, business and life skills training, as well as coaching and mentoring. ShopRite and Checker Supermarkets have since inception of the partnership in 2017 donated damaged appliances valued at more than 18 million rands with more than 4 million rands being on the last financial year to the repair program to assist men like Zaiman and Magakuli successfully run their own businesses. Both men wish to expand their businesses and create jobs for other men in their communities so that they too can pay it forward. Moving on to our next story, Ford South Africa is proud to have supported two determined learners who represented South Africa at the 2022 International World Skills Competition in the Mechatronics Technology category. The South African team competed in regional and national rounds before heading off to Stuttgart, Germany for the final round, which finished on October the 8th. The World Skills Competition aims to encourage young people to pursue artisanal vocations as a career choice to help ease the skills shortage in South Africa. One of its primary objectives is to influence the development and employability of South African youth and act as an effective means of increasing awareness of apprenticeship. South Africa has been a member of World Skills International WSI since 1990 and is one of 85 actively participating participate in countries rather since 2014. World Skills South Africa under the Department of Higher Education has hosted national competitions in Cape Town and Durban as well as supported learners at various international competitions. Moving on to our next story, get swept up in the magic of Christmas at Melrose Arc on Saturday the 26th of November when the piazza comes alive with a song of carols performed by the Dragonsburg Boys Choir as they kick off their 2022 Noel tour. Bring the family along to enjoy a magical evening under the stars, take your seat on the piazza to enjoy the one hour performance by the Dragonsburg Boys Choir. Wander through the dazzling display of Christmas lights along High Street and soak up the festive atmosphere. The much-loved and uniquely South African Dragonsburg Boys Choir has been captivating local and international audiences for over 50 years with their high-energy performances, versatility, stamina and raw talent. Best of all, we'll be celebrating the start of the festive season, the true spirit of Christmas, giving back through the donation of 100% of ticket sales to SA Harvest, a hunger relief organisation that has delivered over 30 million meals in its first three years by rescuing food that would have gone to waste. Proceeds will go towards Christmas goodie bags filled with treats for the children served by SA Harvest beneficiary organisations across Johannesburg. Tickets are just 100 rands per person and bookings are available online through CompuTicket. In our final story, whether it's bringing a smile to someone's face, feeding a hungry child or sharing what we have with those in need, Panada recognizes that every act of kindness matters and that everyone has something to offer. Through a dose of care journey, Panada recognized and honored Gassi Hero Foundation and brought to light the foundation's vital role in the community. In 2020, during the Level 5 COVID-19 lockdown, the Kasihiro Foundation was established. What began as a small group of volunteers organizing a monthly soup kitchen for the destitute in Pimville, so it has grown into a well-known public welfare institution, delivering daily meals, school uniforms, wheelchairs and food parcels to disadvantaged families. Today, Kasihiro serves three Soweto communities three times each week. Bernardo's A Dose of Care campaign wants to share a dose of care with those who really need it, together with the Afternoon Express. They're sharing the work of do-gooders by lifting others and helping alleviate the poverty crisis gripping part of the country through a dose of care journey. Balesa Dembe, 
Host of the Afternoon Express spent the morning with the extraordinary team of Gussie Hero and witnessed firsthand the foundation's selfless and generous efforts to aid those in difficult situations. To recap our top stories, Ford South Africa helps learners embark on technical careers through world skills. For more CSI news, you can visit our website at www.socialtv.co.za.